Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, where unfortunately, as you can see, I cannot continue the previous uh, Let's Play, in fact, I've lost all my saves. Um, but it's not all that bad, we will start a new one, being that I think we got a little bit stuck in the last one. We was holding our ground, but, you know, relying on the AI to make progress. So I think this time... I've got one of two options in my head. In fact, actually, what I'm going to do, this is going to be a episode zero that isn't actually going to go out. I was going to record Hearts of Iron today, but I'll find something else. And the two options that I was considering... Uh, obviously, early on in January, let's go to other country just for now. Was we could take the other side of a battle that we was previously fighting, and we could play as the Japanese. At which point I would probably consider going down the, uh, an independent route from Germany. Uh, more than likely a, um, <clears throat> a more monarchist line. I'm not actually completely sure. Actually, let's have a look at the focus tree. That takes too long to load in. Um, there's something wrong with my computer. Uh, it, it's old, yes, but it used to behave better than that, but for now it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at the National Focus Tree. So, straight up we have a four-way choice, which looks like Go Communist. Um, I'm looking for political ideology things here to sort of indicate which way it'd be going. Okay, call me confused. <laughs> I was expecting to see, like, communist, uh, German, independent, democratic. So, strengthen the civil government. Branches are mutually exclusive. Yes, but with which ones? Get a vent, young officers. Coup. So, modern shogunate are the... Ooh! Modern Shogunate sounds nice. I don't actually know what the difference is, but... <laughs> right, German rocketry, though. So that goes down. It looks like it's not a hard and fast... A hard and fast... Um... Sorry, my head's a little bit uh, fuzz fuzzy still. It looks like it's not a hard and fast thing where I have to pick, decide with the Germans, or to be... You know by myself, uh, you know, me in control. So preemptive war with China, Imperial Arsenal, we've got to have more things to declare war on than just that. Where's the one that, oh wait, okay I was missing a section but no that's just the Oh, this is to deal with the Manchu Protectorate. These are my army and navy ones. And I believe the air force is just worked in because the uh, navy... The Zero was a naval fighter, so that sort of makes sense. Right, assuming that these top ones are all separate. This is fully separate, so this would be it by itself. And I believe this is joining the Allies. Yeah, current ruling party is democratic. So that's democratic. That's communist. These two are the fascist, and I'm assuming there's a non-aligned option. I'm sure there's a, a non-aligned option. This focus cancels, which is not remet. So you have to be fascist. 
Is there any other you know, choices either side? Research speed or puppet. I'll bypass the Philippines to cure them. Okay, that's fine. That's not. Maybe I'm wrong and it's there's not a non-aligned option. Create a Manchurian Air Force. German rocketry. Do we still have to be fascist at this point? Okay. Well, looks like we can do an independent uh, Japan. Um, is this different from what I remember? Uh, like, I, I thought there was a choice between, you know, going north or going south. Attacking Russia or attacking... Then again, <laughs> I've played in how long? Yeah, this could easily have been reworked. Which completely throws off what I was planning on doing, but... Right, non-aggression pact with China. Join the London Naval Treaty. Build up Manchuria. Create a Manchurian Air Force. Technology exchange. That's to seek to join the Axis. Which I don't want to do. So at which point I would need to get over... Okay, secure China's there. Greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere, that's my separate one. Sign tripartite to pact with Germany. But I don't have to join here. Right, Southern Strike. Because so that's what I was thinking, that's for go after China. Non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. But what about the Northern Strike? Is that an option? Nationalize the war industry. I have no idea. Anyway, I've, I've dwelled on this for too long, but that's probably the route that we'd be going down then, the Coke Asperity Sphere. And I would probably only try to be at war with a one faction at once, but Obviously, that's not uh, always within our power. Uh, let's exit out of here to the menu, and I'll show you the other one that I was considering. Just thought I have no idea how long I've been recording, because I didn't actually start a timer, because this was supposed to be a quick one, just laying out the two options. Well, it was supposed to be an actual episode, then it became, you know, picking out the two options. The other one I was considering playing is as Venezuela. Uh, you know, one of the, I think it is the only fascist country in... Uh, Peru's almost there. Oh wait, ideology fascist. Oh, so, sorry, Peru is actually there. Uh, but they're half democratic. This is much, much more. <laughs> and Venezuela has oil, so I think it'd be an interesting start because we actually have resources to... Uh, build tanks, but tanks in the jungle. I'm reasonably experienced with small divisions now, thanks to the Australia game, or at least I know that I should be doing that. Uh, so the plan with Venezuela would be to... Oh, let's get in and see the focus tree as well, because the focus tree will, regardless of how you want to play the focus tree, will focus trees will force you down certain routes. I was thinking Grand Colombia. Oh, it's a generic one. Well, that does mean that I'm not being forced down any particular route and I can just, you know, play. I'm slightly disappointed that there's not a, a focus tree for them. Can I see other people's focus trees from in here? Yeah, you're generic. Peru by any chance? No. Oh, that was my other option for the... You. I don't know, I guess... There is El Salvador. 
also a generic tree, so it doesn't really make much difference which one we start as. Uh, with El Salvador, it'd be endeavouring to form the USCA. United States, Central America, yes. Uh, with Venezuela, it'll be trying to form a Grand Colombia. As the first goal, then obviously we'll see where we go from there, but that's the, the ideas for them. With both of them, uh, bringing the Caribbean under our control is probably not a bad idea, but... So basically, Venezuela, aim for this, then this... No, not Venezuela. Uh, El Salvador, aim for this then this, and then go south, <clears throat> before hopefully heading up north and getting there before this guy becomes, you know, a huge problem. Uh, with Venezuela, the goal will be to sort of skirt around Brazil uh, through Colombia, Equ uh, might leave Ecuador until after Peru, and get sort of like the Grand Colombia, I'm sure there's a, is there a decision for that? I know there's not... Oh yeah, revive Boulevard's legacy. So we do have that good. The ABC Isles. Ooh, so there is a little bit of something. And it looks like we can offer to take away the uh, Dutch Islands, which I would probably do. Let's actually quickly load into El Salvador and see if there's any uh, da -da -da -da. Exit to menu. Any ideas for that? You know, can I actually form the USCA? Because if not, Boulevard's legacy is what I'll be going for. Um, I'm picking out of them too. So new game. Select scenario. And my computer's getting warm. Hopefully, I'll be uh, be able to take that out of the words. <laughs> Uh, denoise that out of here, but El Salvador obviously looks like it's going to be a harder start because it is a teeny tiny. But if there's the option to reform the USCA, I sort of want to do that. So we know that there's not any reconstitute the Federal Republic, which is El Salvador. Yes, that's basically the USCA, it's just the name that it's going to be given is you know, changing. Right, so that's it, we've got our three choices. Uh, hopefully, at some point I'm going to have made something to be up on the screen now, I'll overlay it while I'm talking, uh, but the three choices are, we have in the Far East to uh, Imperialist Japan, an independent imperialist Japan. All of the, actually, all of these are planning to be independent. If I can avoid it, I don't want to just like say, "Oh yeah, Germany, help me." Uh, but you know, independent imperialist Japan. In the center, we have a um, Venezuela restoring a Boulevard's legacy, creating Grand Colombia. And on the far side, we have El Salvador with a USCA run. And I'll be honest, I have a little bit of a thing for the USCA because they're one of the few countries that I played in uh, Vicky 2. And I was horrendous at it. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time. That we oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just because I didn't start the timer doesn't mean I can't. Where, where, where's the sound? Try. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't make the timer go off. Uh, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time that we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. And I just realised that I never actually said how we was going to decide this, uh, so in the comments will most likely be a comment from me with the three options, uh, like, comment, reply to the one that you want, and also of course feel free to spam in the uh, chat anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like it, I think, oh, I'll, I'll have to do a way to make sure, you know, it's, so that it works out properly. No, there's most likely only going to be like 20 people watching this, so uh, <laughs> that's for high numbers. <laughs> so even if all of you did decide to vote, I think I could manage it even if you just randomly, uh, you know, writ essays in the comment section. <laughs> but I will pretend to be a little bit more professional and that, that comment should be there, so 
Um, like the comment that you want to vote for. It'll probably be a... There'll be a comment with me replying to it and the top three options of me replying will... Um, and then me replying to myself with the, uh, the names. It'll be something. It'll be something. I'm talking with my hands and you can't see it. <laughs> I've got to stop. See you guys.